What about Calvin Ridley? Well, people are trying to ride this train. Well, Calvin Ridley just scored points because he got a bunch of touchdowns. But it's where a touchdown those, variance. But where would those 900 yards come from? Yeah. He had 900 yards as a rookie. And he had 10 goddamn touchdowns. I, the touchdowns are can be fluky. I just said Yeah, that, he had three that, in had, one game. But he had three in one game. Right. I get it. I get Fuck it. Fuck out of here. That's a knock for some people. Yeah. That he had three in one game. How are you going to knock a guy for having three touchdowns in one game? That's almost as dumb as telling people how bad Zay Jones is, and then he comes out and scores two touchdowns, and then the next week he's in your newsletter to all your listeners as the top waiver wire ad for that week. I like it. That's a good comparison. That being said, I, I guess I guess I got to go Calvin Ridley over Tyler Lockett. I don't know, man. Tyler Lockett, after all this, just seems so safe. He does. He just seems so warm and fuzzy. I, a lot of times here, I get stuck, and I'll tell you that I'm going to take the guy who I can get more trade value out of. But I think that's fair. That is fair. But I think after four weeks in the season, you can get as much or more trade value out of Tyler Lockett because I think he's going to come out crushing. Yeah. So you're going to go. You're going to go Tyler. I don't. I don't perceive myself having to make <sighs> this decision too right. often. But I could take. I could take either or. Yeah, I think I, if I'm plugging one in, I'm plugging Tyler Lockett in first. Like this is like you talked about Mike Williams. Like you got there's Keenan Allen there, but there's Tyler Lockett's the guy in Seattle. And yeah, they're going to run it a lot, but Tyler Lockett's the guy in Seattle. And now they got DK Metcalf, and the the defense has got to support. They have to against, look out for that. They guy. have to play against that physical force. Right. Not only has the speed does he and have, the physicality. Does not it. Not only does he have elite speed, he's got elite size and speed combo. And so you never you, seen a dude in college beast the press coverage like he does. You have to respect his ability to get deep. You have to respect his ability to be a huge man getting deep. And you have to respect the fact that they can just throw a quick screen to the line of scrimmage and now you got to tackle him. Right. So there's so much that the defense has to pay attention to for DK Metcalf. Meanwhile, they're mostly punching you in the face with Chris Carson and Penny. And meanwhile, Tyler Lockett's really hard to guard. Right. So I like, I'm really coming up. I'm. Stock up, Tyler Lockett. Yeah, it was a good discussion. It's good. <laughs>